Hey, this is Lewis from SoFly. In this video, I'll give you an overview of the templating functionality of Oxygen. So to create templates, go to Oxygen Templates, and then click Add New to add a new template. Now, I've set up a blank Oxygen install here, and I have some dummy content. So none of this content right now will display with a header or footer or any styles. This is just a completely uh, blank design in Oxygen. Nothing set up. So let's go ahead and create templates that apply to all of the parts of our site. So to start, I'll add a new template with a header and footer in it. So I'm going to call this template main. I'll publish that. And now in the template settings, under where does this template apply, I will choose other catch all. This will apply the template to everywhere on my site. It's a catch all. So we will save the settings. And then let's edit this with Oxygen and add in our header and footer. So let's go ahead and add in a header. So rather than design it myself, I'll go to Library, Design Sets, Atomic, and just load a pre-designed header here. Then I want to display the content that this template applies to. So for example, right now we're previewing the test content page, but many other pieces of content on my site that this template could apply to. And I want to display that between the header and the footer. So to do that, I will add in an inner content element. So go back to Add Home, Basics, Inner Content. So right now we're previewing Test Content page. And the inner content element will be editable with Oxygen for each item the template applies to. So we could actually control this inner content area with Oxygen on any page of our site. If no content is set up in WordPress, or sorry, if no content is set up in Oxygen, then it will fall back to the WordPress content. For example, test content page, or here I have this plugin WP Job Manager that shows a job search form, or a WooCommerce product, or a blog post, a BB Press form topic, etc. So now we have our header, our inner content, Let's go ahead and add in a footer. So I'll go to Library, Design Sets, Atomic, Footers, and load in a footer. And let's save this. So now we've created a main template. You can preview this on the front end. Doesn't look so good. This isn't a good way to display a blog post, but that's okay. We'll create a blog post template now. So I'll go to New Template. I will call this template Blog Post. And I will set this template to inherit the main template. Setting a template to inherit another template inherits its design and allows the inner content area to be edited. So this will inherit the header and footer from the main template and allow us to then design the blog post area of this template. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this to blog posts. So I'll choose singular posts. Save the template settings and edit with Oxygen. So now I have this editable area. The header and footer is pulled from the main template, and then this area is what I can edit in the blog post template. So let's go ahead and create a blog post layout. So I'll add a section. I will set the sec section background image to the post featured image. So actually let's go to data featured image, insert, and then I will add in the post title. So I'll add in a heading here, insert data, post title. Let's go ahead and center all this. Maybe this image is a little too bright, so I will give it some contrast. Make this text white. Let's add in another section, display the post content. So I'll add in a text element insert data content. And that's how you design a blog post. I'm not going to go ahead and do everything here like a comment form because we have other videos on how to use those elements. But now I have a template that applies to my blog posts. So let's save this and preview on the front end. And this template will be used for all blog posts. So for example, if I went to another post, that same template is applied. And we can see which template is applied on the edit post screen. It says render page using template, 
default, which is the blog post. We could also override the template from this screen, from the Oxygen Meta box on editing a post, editing a page, editing any custom post type. Now let's go ahead and create a template that applies to all of our pages. So I'll call this page template, publish, inherit the design from main, so we get our header and footer, singular, pages. Let's edit with oxygen. So let's go ahead and actually just add an inner content element to this template. I already like the header, I like the footer, I just want this area to be edited with oxygen, so I've now added an inner content area that can now be designed with oxygen. So let's save this, go back to WordPress, and add a new page. I will call this my oxygen designed page, publish, and as you can see, it will be rendered using the page template. Now I can edit this page with oxygen. So the header and footer are pulled from my template, template page. I can open and edit that template if I wish, and I can add elements to the inner content area. So let's go to add library design sets atomic. And let's go ahead and add in some content to this page. So I'll add a hero section, some icon blocks, showcase slider, uh, and call to action. And there we go, I've now created a page rendered with a template using Oxygen. So let's go ahead and preview this on the front end. And here's our page. Header and footer come from the template and content comes from Oxygen. Now let's go ahead and create a template that applies to our WP uh, job manager job listings. So I've created this job listing here and right now it's just rendered with the catch-all template. But this is too wide, so we actually want to sort of design the way this looks. So we're going to call this, we're going to go to New Template. We will call this one Job Listing. Go to Singular, choose Jobs, and inherit the main template and apply. Now edit with oxygen. And now let's go ahead and design our job listing page. So I'm just going to keep it very simple. Add a section, add a heading, center it. Maybe we'll put the job title in here. And then below that heading, I'm going to add the inner content for the job listing. So here's our inner content. Let's actually drag this into the section so it's not so wide. Let's add some space, double click this, insert data, we'll insert the title of the job, and here we go. Here is our job listing. And actually, if you enable selector detector on the oxygen settings page, you can click the inner content, click style output, and you can actually click these items and create styles for each individual item that's output by the plugin. You can customize it here. This is a relatively advanced feature of oxygen. I'm not going to go over it. In this video, watch the selector detector video for details on that. Let's go ahead and actually align this left. Looks a little bit better. It's probably too wide, so let's go to uh, size and spacing, section width, custom width, and we'll use a custom container width of 800 pixels. And here is our job listing right here. Okay, so now we have a template for job listings. We have a different template for posts. We have a different template for pages. Let's go ahead and save this. Take a look on the front end. And here we go, here is our template applied to job listings. Now let's go ahead and create another template, uh, this time for certain pages of our site. So we have some pages here that display our jobs, uh, job post submission form, and these just don't look good that right. They don't look very good right now. So what do we want to do? We want to make this narrower. We might want to add some content to the page. So let's go ahead and go to Oxygen. Templates, 
add new template and we're going to call this uh, job page template. And we're going to inherit design from main and we're not going to apply the template anywhere. We're going to apply it to those two pages manually. Let's edit with oxygen. And here I will go ahead and add in a section. And then I will add in a text element. And I will insert the content of the page. And let's go ahead and preview the jobs page. And there we go. Now we have the job search form. We could preview the post a job page. We have the job submission form. Let's go ahead and make this uh, text element wider. Go size and spacing. Um, let's go with 100%. And let's center everything here. Okay, let's save this. And now if we go to the front end, this doesn't apply because we haven't actually applied it. So we'll manually apply it by going edit page and then overriding the template here by choosing job page template. And now that we've applied the job page template to this page, when we take a look, the template we designed is used. One last thing I want to show is a special type of template called an inner content template. So the inner content template allows you to display, to create a template that is used to change the way the inner content element renders. So right now I have a test content page here. And this template, or this page is rendered using the page template. So if we take a look at that template in Oxygen, we'll see why this content on the page is very wide. We don't want it to be this wide. The content is wide on this page. Let's preview it. Type in test content page. Is because our inner content element is very wide. It's 100% of the width of the page. Now we don't want to make it narrower on this page because, for example, for our oxygen design page, we do want the inner content of the page to be 100% width. We just don't want normal text content from WordPress to be 100% width. So what we do to solve that is add a new template called inner content. And we'll set this to apply to other inner content. And now when the inner content area is rendering WordPress or plugin content, in other words, not content designed in Oxygen, it will use this template to render it. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to add a section. We're going to add an inner content element to the section. Let's drag that into the section. And I'll just set this section to be narrow. So we'll go size and spacing, section container width, custom width, 700 pixels. So we wouldn't want this applied to content we designed in Oxygen because it's just making it look bad. We only want it applied to test content page, which is rendered with inner content. So that's why we use the inner content template type. Now, if we take a look at the page test content page, it's still rendered using the page template, but its inner content here is rendered using the inner content template. Let's take a look. And here we go. Okay, next up, let's create an archive template. So we'll go to oxygen templates, add new template archive and we will set this just to display uh, apply to all archives inherit design from main edit with oxygen and we are now previewing posts we can preview any archive for any custom post type here so let's add in a section and then to display our posts, we'll use the easy post element. So add helpers, easy posts. And this will just display a list of our posts. I only have three posts on this site. So let's save this, take a look on the front end. And 
Actually, we haven't set the post page as our home page here. We're actually using this other page as the home page. So what we're going to do is go over to posts, categories, take a look at the uncategorized category, and then we can see our archive. Here are our posts. We click a post. This will take us to the post page, which is rendered using the single template. And now we have a complete template set up. This will render all content on our site. Take a look at these job pages here. Job dashboard, jobs. We can take a look at an individual job, create a template for this. We can take a look at a test content page we created here. We can see the uh, oxygen design page. We can see page rendered. Uh, we can see post rendered with the template. And we can see an archive rendered with archive template. So back to the oxygen templates page. This is what a complete template setup with oxygen looks like. We have a main template with a header and footer. We have a page template that applies to all our pages. We have a blog post template that applies to our blog post. We have special templates that we might apply to custom post types like job listing or a template that we apply to only specific pages like this one. We have an inner content template that, just, uh, that affects the way the inner WordPress content is displayed. And we have an archive template which applies to all of our archives. So using this templating system in Oxygen, you can style every part of your WordPress website. You don't need a theme, you don't use a theme. Uh, everything can be controlled with Oxygen.